Dog Nuttery continues. It is no secret that in this dog culture, in this society, that the dog is worshipped. The dog is um, gets a, a pass on pretty much anything and everything. Even if the dog purposely does things on its own, it's not the dog's fault. That's what they say. Even the dog, even if the dog deliberately, you know, attacks you, it's not the dog's fault. But if the dog does something like, I don't know, jump through a hoop, then they praise the dog and they say it's the dog's fault. They they praise the dog. But but you see what I say? See you see what I mean? Like anything that's bad, it's not the dog's fault. But if it's like good or funny, it is the dog's fault. <laughs> it's it's this dog culture. It's very psychotic. It makes no sense. Um. So as I'm, you know, I'm always observing things. Always, you know, observing things and and seeing this, you know, I guess this so-called double standards with dogs and natural animals and even with people and end of the day dogs are you know they're at the top they they are at the a pe- they're on top of the pedestal they're on top of a pedestal that's on top of a pedestal dogs these worthless mutts are higher they are higher than these dog nuts they're higher than the children They're higher than natural animals, higher than the cats, higher than anything because they're worshipped and praised. And again, if they attack or do something that's in that's, you know, unacceptable, it is not their fault. But if they do something that is funny, if they obey and listen and eat, the dog gets all the praise. And to show that how things in, in this world, in this dog culture, is so unfair. Is if you're in, you know, the, the forest or reserve or whatever, and you get attacked by, let's say, a bear, a coyote, a wolf, the rangers, the police are going to track down that animal and they're going to kill the animal. So if you walk into another animal's territory where you don't have to, you walk, you deliberately chose to walk into that territory, you encounter a bear, a wolf, coyote, mountain lion, and they attack and or kill you, that predator gets put down. They get shot and they get put down right away. They don't capture it and put it in a van to assess it, to find out the breed or why it attacked. They they don't do investigations for that. They just find it and they kill it. But with dogs, you know, if you're on a so-called dog's property, you know, the dog owner's property, and they have a dog on the property... And you, you know, for whatever reason, whether you're visiting, you know, trespassing, passing by, going to get something in the yard and whatever the case may be, you might have a foot on their lawn. And and if you get attacked or you're in the house or whatever, you know them for years and all of a sudden that dog attacks you for whatever reason and you're in that house on their property and their dog attacks and, and or kills you, nothing will happen to that dog. But if it was a person that, if a person did that to you for trespassing on their property, for whatever reason, and they decide to, you know, kill you, attack you, the person would get in trouble. But if the dog did it for no reason, whether, whether there was a reason or not, and if the dog did it or not, If the dog did it, I mean, nothing 
would happen to the dog, the dog would automatically get a pass. The dog would be protected. And there's nothing we can do about it. <laughs> you know, but I guess to continue worshipping these worthless mutts. And also realizing they're allowed to kill you. And nothing will be done about the dog and in dogs in general. You see how fair it is? How you can walk into the woods, the forest, knowing that there are bears there, knowing that there are wolves, knowing that there are lions. Uh, and if you get attacked or killed, that animal gets put down. Another example of this is zoos. Zoos. Again, I'm not for zoos. I'm, I'm, I'm against them. But I'm not, you know, you know, out there protesting against them. But I'm against them. I don't go to them. I want nothing to do with them. But if, let's say, a zookeeper is trying to feed, let's say, a lion, maybe an elephant or a bear, whatever the case may be, and that lion decides to attack the zookeeper, that animal, the lion, gets put down right away. But if it was a dog, but if it was a dog, that dog would get a pass. And if you take a dog, you put it in a cage, and you step into that cage with that dog, and that dog attacks you or kills you, that dog gets a pass because they're going to say you're in the dog's territory. You're in the dog's cage. It wasn't the dog's fault. Dog gets a pass. Dog gets to live. Dog gets more food. But anything else, any other real animal, natural animal, people. If, if the tables are turned and, and we were in the position of the dog and we attack or hurt someone, we would get put down. We would get attacked. We would get put thrown in jail, thrown in prison. We would get punished for it. It is totally not fair. How these worthless mutts that do nothing but terrorize people again and again every day. Every day. And they get a pass. Why do they get a pass? Why do they get a pass? Why do children have to be mauled by dogs and dogs get a pass? Seniors, delivery drivers getting attacked by dogs and the dogs get a pass. Dog sitters, they get attacked by dogs, the dog gets a pass. Dog worship, dog nuttery. <sighs> Another thing, a um, little bit off topic. <sighs> dogs... You know, they're, they're always around people. <laughs> like, even... They're, they're, they're always around people. Whether it's a stray dog, technically they're around people in the city. They're exposed to them. And more times than not, the people there don't even bother the dogs. They don't bother them. Dogs in shelters or kennels, they're around people. People feeding them. People training them. People playing with them. They're around people, exposed to people. Dogs that are owned by so-called people, dog nutters. They're, they're around people. Little people, big people. Males, females, old, small, young. They're around people. Dogs are always around people. Always being exposed to people some way or another. But how about birds? Pigeons, uh, those little sparrows, or like, like backyard birds, squirrels, those little rodents that you may see in your backyard, squirrels, raccoons, skunks, you know, coyotes live around us every day, all night, they're around us, even though you don't see them, they're there, but yet, they're not exposed, they're, they are these wild, some of these animals in their backyard are exposed to people. They see them every day. 
They see them every day. People are destroying their habitats every day. They're not being trained. They're not being socialized around people. But yet, the dog, even though the dog is around people and has been around people more than any natural animal, the dog has been around people more than any natural animal. But that dog, even though it gets fed and it's worshipped and people treat it good, it will still go on to attack us. Try to kill us. But all the other natural animals. Birds. Pigeons. Seagulls. It goes far to say as fish. Even whales. Squirrels. All those animals. We've, you know, they're, they're around us all the time too. We don't have to go and train them. We don't have to socialize with them. But yet they don't attack us. At least they don't attack us. As often as dogs do. And if they do attack us, it is so rare to be attacked by a seagull. I'm sure they're going to attack your food, but hey, that's what they do, right? Just like what dogs do, that's what dogs do, that's what seagulls do. But they're not trying to kill us, they just want food. Other birds, rodents, coyotes, whales... You're sailing with your boat on the ocean. You know a whale could easily top that boat over, but it doesn't. Sharks could easily ram or, or bite through your boat, but it doesn't. Octopuses, those things are huge. They could easily probably tear down your boat somehow, but it doesn't. Coyotes could be out all day, all night. Foxes all day, all night, but most times... They don't. They're not trained. They're not being socialized. But dogs. But dogs. After the training, the socializing, the feeding them, taking care of them, worshipping them, using leashes, fences, muzzles, excuses, lies, information, training after training, book after dog book after dog book, dog channel after dog channel, TV dog TV shows after TV shows, cartoons with dogs, but yet the dog still hates us. The dog still wants to attack us. More than any other natural animal out there. How can that be? How is that possible? Something always around people and people are taking care of it, but yet they will attack us so often, cats don't do this so often. It's very rare, but very rare. Not cats, not pet birds, not even pet snakes. None will do this. Even those with pet tigers and lions and bears. It is very rare. It does happen. But it's very rare for them to be attacked by them. But dogs, after we've done, I don't want to say we, but the dog nuts have done so much for them. Protect them and lie for them, excuses, all this shit for dogs. But yet, they will continuously want to attack us and specifically they will still attack the hands that feed them. So, bottom line is this. Dogs are brain-damaged mutants. They should be banned and eliminated off the face of the earth. They don't deserve to breathe our air. They don't deserve to walk on our, on our ground. 
They don't deserve to drink our water because they are highly ungrateful. They are dumb. They're incompetent. They are worthless. They are despicable. Because no, there's no other wild animal out there. Not even people that, is, that are as vile, as ungrateful, unappreciative as dogs. But with dogs, again, you have to train the dog to be a certain way. It's not as if the dog is going to just be. Dogs are not like cats where they're just going to be. Dogs are not like fish that they're just going to be. You have to actually force the dog to be something. Force the dog to like you, to accept you, to listen to you. Therefore, these dogs naturally, they naturally do not want to be locked up with these dog nutters. What they want to do is create chaos, problems, over and over again. Doesn't matter how much we feed them and lie about them. They don't even know about it, really. But they continue to, to, to be despicable towards people. And the only solution that will work, because the leashes, fences, muzzles don't work. These YouTube channels, these do pro dog YouTube cha channels don't work. Only thing that will help these dogs is if we ban them, then eliminate them from the face of this earth. I am Gore the Dog Butcher, here with another worthless mutts. Please remember that it is okay to hate dogs.